Ladies and Nuggets, it's the 0 to 60 Nugget Shootout, mate. We're going to find out how fast my Nuggets can go. And hang on, that's an asterisk up there. Uh, yeah, uh, kilometers an hour. It's about 30 something miles an hour. <laughs> Look, mate, speaking honestly, I nearly never get onto 100 km hour roads or 60 mile an hour. I just don't. They're nowhere near me. I mean, yes, the expressway is nearby, but like you can't just stop on a freeway to hard launch your cars. It's just not safe to do so. But, mate, there are plenty of 80 km hour zones where I can launch nuggets up to 60. I think this is a really realistic test. Can't wait to see how the small nuggets hang out, mate, because it's those last kilometers an hour up to highway speeds that they struggle. Mate, this changes the game completely. First up, mate, we've got to set a good base. Baseline. It's my 9098 Corolla, mate. The, dubbed the car. It's just a car. I got this from a good mate of mine. 1.8 liters of just something. It's just such an car. It's just this little sedan. It has had no servicing whatsoever. None. N nothing. And I refuse to. Only money that we've actually spent on this thing has been on a massive stereo system to fill it with subwoofers. <laughs> Great investment. We've made the right choice. <laughs> So let's set the baseline made, zero to 60 kilometers an hour, let's smell it. Come on the car, come on the car, here we go. Is it, is it? Oh wow, we got wheel spin. Yeah, 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 one gear, come on, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it accelerates cromulently, so thus 4.8 seconds is a cromulent time. We had a rental 2018 Camry hanging around here for a little bit and I made sure to get the data on that as well. What do you got baby, here we go. Stunning. So fast. So powerful. Unbelievable. There's not really a lot in it, mate. It shows like, you know, four and a bit seconds is just the cromulent speed to get to 60 kilometers an hour. <laughs> All right, mate, let's get bigger. It's my 2013 VF Como, mate. She's the Ute variety. There's sedans, wagons, all sorts, mate. 3.6 liter V6, mate. Let's see how she does. All right, Bruce 2, show us your Aussie Aussiness. Even though your motor's not Aussie, it doesn't matter. All right, zero to 60. And go. That's not a good start. Oh, that stunk. Oh, that's not very good. I'm telling you, when you stamp your foot, it literally does nothing. It's just what it does. It just dunk nothing and then it goes. But my beloved five liter V8 Falcon, good old Jeffy, always up for a good laugh that is. I, I don't find it very quick, but gosh, it is just the best sounding car I've got by far. GLI, so luxurious. Look at that dash, that's my childhood there. Interior, stunning. Such a nice car where we ripped it apart and found it was just full of dead mice and a mouse nest in the headliner. Look at all that dried urine, mm, my favorite. Especially when they're jammed in the, like, the transmission there. <laughs> So gross. Mate, we cleaned up the car, but that interior was a loss, mate. She was gone. And so uh, Jeff was banned from having an interior. Stick a bench seat in there from you, pull it. Just make it fit. It's fine. And there, mate, it's the Jeffy Super Legera. All right, sweet, sweet five liter Jeffy. Best sound and nug in the bunch. Not the fastest. All right, come on, Jeffy. Oh, that was awesome, but slow. <laughs> I do multiple runs to get these times. That's the best I can get. And yeah, it's a little bit slower than a more modern V6 that GM's actually still using to this day now that I think of it. <laughs> ah, well, Jeffy, you sound brilliant. All right, we're getting low. It's the donkey van's time. You know, that thing that I found that wasn't actually for sale. It was someone's parts van for delivering parts. It was so rough. And actually, it still is. <laughs> it's not good. Although it did get dressed up, James Weaving magic right there. It turned into a really nice place to sit in, mate, until I spilled about four Hungry Jack's cappuccinos into the carpet, mate, and they're still in there. Completely immune to any damage, mate. You, you can send anything at it. Like, you know, it doesn't matter. It's completely effed anyways. The diff is completely flogged, and yes, it is still full of bananas. And then there was that time, mate, where we put that spray in it to recondition it, and then we actually, like, ended up blowing the head gasket. <laughs> like chaotically and that's when we learned that the bores were completely effed and that this motor just wants to die it barely idles now and rains oil and coolant donkey van is barely idling come on baby 60 k's now that's oh no oh wow that's not good oh come on donkey come on don't let tony win that's not good yeah it, 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 my sweet donkey 
We're just going to put it down there. Okay. It's not... Not great. It's Mum Snug's turn, right? Little 2018 Bellino, 1.4 liters of Indian made power. This thing's been awesome. It's actually been an excellent car. Mum's gotten great use out of it. Three, two, one, go! Go, Mum Snug! Go, Mum Snug! That's, that's, that's okay. It's out of the fours. It's a little below cromulent, but still plenty cromulent because it's so good on fuel. It's it's a perfectly fine little McNugget. It's the Leafs turn. I've had this for a year now. I need to do a video about it, absolutely. And it's been amazing. It has been such a good car, even with this little 30 kilowatt hour battery, tiny little thing. Gosh, this thing is so good. I'm going to rave about it in another video. One of the best cars I've ever bought. This is the Leaf. Here we go. Come on, sweet nug. Come on, sweet nug. That's... Oh. <laughs> it did great. It had some of the softest acceleration. Felt like it wasn't going anywhere. But then no gear changes, and it's just relentless. It just scoots along. It's freaking excellent. <laughs> oh, my beloved CLS. It's just a dream car of mine. Not a big deal. You know, it's black with tan interior. It's exactly what I want. And with no water damage at all. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm swimming. The windshield leaks. Oh my god. I'm, I'm scared. This car is ruined. <laughs> Which is getting started. Oh my gosh. I have to sit through this. <laughs> Stop. I'm already wet. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's worth saving because it's got a 5.5 liter V8 in it. Nearly 400 horsepower. That's what I love about it. It's this beautiful limousine that's a rocket ship. Come on, CLS. You're meant to be the fastest. Here we go. Three, two. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. <laughs> what did I tell you? into the twos, mate. Even with the cheap, nasty tires it's got and multitude of issues that are still lingering, it's still, it's 2.53 seconds. God, I love that car. It's the free car. We haven't seen another video on this because the issues keep piling up. You will hear about, but this has had a full rebuild. This is like, had a full transformation under the bonnet. It is running at the moment and I was able to get a time in. All right, mate, she's the free car. Still, still for free. Here we go. All right, here we go. That's oh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, one liter three cylinder from the mid 80s. That's that's fine. And I think it's one of the best sounding cars that I've got. It's second only to Jeffy. Listen to it when it used to blow smoke. <laughs> It's Tony's turn. The 0.6 liter two cylinder Fiat Nikki Mega Nugget. Made in Poland. Ah, oh, my bloodline, my family heritage. It has no features. I mean, seats are a feature at this point. And like this thing has had a lot of work done to it, but it is also still completely flogged out. Like it's, it's still got underpinning issues, but a lot has been done that has made it run so much better. But even a good condition one of these, it's so funny how unrefined it is. Check it out when it was being compared against V8 Jeffy when V8 Jeffy had an interior. Shh, no, no, gentle, Jeff, gentle, gentle. Ah, come on, Tony. Oh. Oh. No, we're still getting overtaken. There we go. That's it, Jeffy. That's it. 1500 RPM. <laughs> We're not going that slow. That's talk, baby. Oh, we're almost catching the marina. 
That's awesome. Tony's wailing, absolutely wailing. With 74, 73, go, Tony. <laughs> we ran Tony on kerosene and it totally worked. We even got him the run on booze. I mean, it took 95% and it needs a rejet to get it to work properly, but it was, it, I mean, it's kind of running. Oh, Tony, you know how to idle smoothly. Oh, come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. This is it, Tony. This is your good go. Oh, it's rough for the Tony. Go, Tony, that's it. Go, Tony. 60, mate. We're going on. Go, oh, Tony's wailing. We're still there. <laughs> Nearly 11 seconds. Keep in mind, this is to get to 60 kilometers an hour, not 100, 60. The best part about using proper equipment is that you get awesome data, like the G-forces. When it's pulling, you, it tells you the number and it's so good. And you see the faster cars have high G-forces because it's pushing you into the sea harder. But then look at this freak bit here. Tony the Fiat Nicky is in the middle because that's how brutal it is, even though it's by far and like by a lot, the slowest. But then look at the leaf right at the bottom. It was one of the smoothest launching cars. And yet it's actually fourth currently on like the, the speed board. And log, that's it. A fun new piece of data. I get the collector in every car that I drive, mate. You know, that's it. See you.